Good morning. Welcome to Sunrise with Pastor Hagen here on a Wednesday. Thank the Lord that we have another privilege of sharing a few minutes with you, a few minutes from our heart. Now, I'm a little further away than what I sometimes am. Some people think I might look much better from a distance, so I thought I would do this from a distance today, but also wanted to just kind of demonstrate an activity of uh, that I enjoy each morning uh, that, that I am in town, and most mornings I am in town. I seldom take vacations, and uh, most of the time I get up on a morning and I find the coffee pot, fill my travel mug, and spend just a few minutes greeting my wife and wishing her a good day. Then I make a trek across the parking lot and uh, enter the door of the sanctuary, and I begin to walk down this hall to my study. And I look forward to that walk each morning because I know that while that's a little bit of a physical walk, and believe me, I don't get enough physical exercise, I am going to make this little walk down this hall and I'm going to enter in through this door that I call the doorway to my study or my sanctuary. And there I'm going to do some spiritual exercise. And you know that spiritual exercise, and the Bible tells us that we are to exercise ourselves unto godliness. And I think that coming over here and spending time in my study, not just because I'm the pastor and I have a sermon to prepare for Sunday and a Bible study for Wednesday evening and another Bible study for Sunday evening, I'm not doing that just for that. I realize the importance of exercising myself unto godliness. And the way that I do that is that I begin to focus on the Word. You know, God's Word will make us strong. God's Word will strengthen us in the ways that we need to be strengthened the most. And I find that I can sit there behind my desk or perhaps sit here in this chair in the reception area of my study and I can kind of focus on God's Word. I believe that God's Word is a vital part of our spiritual exercise and uh, if we don't really get into the Word, well we're going to become weak and we're going to become puny and if I don't get into the Word I'm going to be ill prepared for the responsibilities of preaching and teaching the Word of God. But you know, I'm not only going to exercise myself unto godliness by focusing on the Word of God, I'm going to spend some time in prayer and meditation. Sometimes I go to the sanctuary and I walk around through the sanctuary. And of course, as in most churches, most people have their pew. I know just about where everyone sits every Sunday. Someone suggested one time, you really ought to sit in a different pew one Sunday and the devil would have a hard time finding you. Well, I don't know whether that's true or not, but you know how it is. Most of us have our pew and Lord help the person that gets there ahead of us and takes our pew. But I know just about where everybody is sitting and in a smaller congregation, of course, I know my people and I know my people well. I know the burdens that they are carrying and the needs that they have. And I like to pray uh, for them as I visualize them sitting there in their pew. And you know, I believe that's a wonderful exercise to pray that God will help others. I found that in praying for others that it strengthens me. In praying for others, it helps me in so many ways. It helps me get my mind off of my problems when I'm focusing on the needs of others. It helps me to, to, to really feel a greater bond to them and a deeper love because my heart goes out to them. And I believe that a part of being godly is to focus on the needs of others and to be aware of their needs and to cultivate a love for them as we sympathize with them in the burdens that they are carrying. So I come over here to my study, and it's a spiritual exercise. I want to focus on the Word of God. I want to focus in prayer, focusing on the needs and the burdens of others. I not only uh, do that, but, but I do some just meditation. I like to get a, a book off the shelf, and while I seldom sit down and start on page one and read until I'm 
to the end of the book anymore. I used to be quite an avid reader, but I don't read like I used to. But I like to just open a book and let my eyes fall on, on a certain page, and almost invariably there is something there to meditate upon, something to think about. Oh, I know we have the Internet too. Now, a lot of people's spiritual downfall, perhaps, is the Internet. But you know, you can use it as a tool of exercising yourself unto godliness. There's a lot of good and a lot of inspiration, a lot to be gained by just uh, Googling certain things that you may think about. Others have so much to share with us. And I've read so many articles and so many posts on the internet that has strengthened me spiritually. So I like coming to my little sanctuary each morning. I like walking down this link and going into that little uh, study. Well, it's not such a small study. Largest study I've ever had anywhere I pastored. But I enjoy exercising myself unto godliness. And you need to do the same thing. You need to find a time to, to get into the Word, find a time to focus on the needs of others, find a time to meditate upon good things that will make you strong. Yes, let's exercise ourselves unto godliness. Well, let me have a brief prayer with you before we go. Heavenly Father, we recognize the importance of physical exercise if our bodies are to be strong and healthy. And yet, Lord, we recognize our spiritual exercises that we must uh, participate in if our soul is going to be strong. Help us to do those things that will make us strong in the Lord. For the Bible tells us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Bless us throughout another day of life. Help us to be a blessing to others. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for being with us today. We'll see you tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.